Welcome to this GCC Inova blog on Office 365 and the Outlook web client and the various settings that are available to the users. First of all, you need to navigate to the Outlook Office 365 logon page, which is https colon forward slash forward slash logon dot microsoft online dot com. In this first box, you simply enter your corporate email address into the field, as I'm doing here. Then you enter your password that has been provided to you. Simply click sign in and this will bring you into the standard Outlook web access for Office 365. As you can see, you have your standard inbox, sent items, deleted items. If you wish to send a new email, simply click where it says new email and type the user's email address in there and the subject and the contents. If you wish to add additional fields, click on the three dots here and this will allow you to add this, the blind copy field, add the from field, check the name set the importance of the email, switch to plain text or show other options. The other main area to consider is the settings. Simply navigate back to Outlook by clicking where it says Outlook on the top menu bar. And then click on the settings button in the right hand corner here. From here, you have some very interesting options, but the main ones I wish to point out today are the set auto reply option, which effectively is set in your out of office message, simply by clicking it here, typing it there, into here, and you can also specify a from and to time. If you scroll down here, you also see that you can send an out of office message to people with inside your organization as it clearly states here and you can set a different message for customers and people who are external to your organization. Once you have set your settings you simply click save and your out of office is set up. Other settings to consider we don't wish to we do not wish to save that Other settings to consider are under the settings again and options. And under options, you have the ability to change your Office 365 password, to set up a forwarding rule, which would mean that a mail would be delivered into your Office 365 and then a copy of it would be sent out to an additional mailbox. Every time you go into any of these settings, if you wish to get back to your inbox, simply click on the Outlook button there. The final option that I'd wish to show you on this blog is to simply how to log off. Do not just close your browser to log off, click where your name is, pull the option down and select sign out. Many thanks, this blog has been brought to you by GCC Inova. Thank you.